Hey guys, what's going on? Jamie here with a quick update for Mint Stake Share. I uh, wasn't even planning on making a video today, but there was some bullish news that came out. So I wanted to talk a little bit about it. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, of course, not a financial advisor. Never take anything I say as financial advice. We do decide to jump into Mint Stake Share or anything we talk about or anything in crypto for that matter. Please do your own research and due diligence. Know that there is risk involved. So only put in what you can afford to lose guys risk capital only so follow me on telegram i will leave a link for that down below if you haven't subscribed to this channel go ahead and subscribe hit the little bell icon so you'll get notified straight away whenever i do a brand new video so that being said guys mint state share uh their dev the dev uh came out on a uh, i think it was a live stream today and came out with some really really bullish news i actually wasn't on it live i was running around um had to take care of a couple of things but about five or six people hit me up and was saying, hey, did you hear about, you know, the the, the new mechanism that they're putting in place? Actually, they, I believe they already put it in place um, for for uh, more sustainability. Um, and so when I heard a little bit about it, gave it some thought. And man, I think it's really, really powerful because to be honest, one of the things that was in the back of my mind with this platform was, you know, is there some type of limit for people to um you know for people to earn for example you know there are other platforms that you know cap people out at 200 percent or 300 percent or you know there are dApps out there that even drip had like a, a limit you know you can earn until you hit 365 percent per wallet because again you can't just come in and just drain the whole contract um you know if you're a whale and just come in and just drain the whole uh drain the whole contract no limits and so that was a something that that i was thinking about well, today they came out with on that live stream uh the dev said hey we're implementing a new mechanism where if you claim there obviously if you're compounding you're getting two percent right but when you claim the amount you claim in tokens is going to get deducted from your staked amount so it incentivizes people it, it's, it incentivizes people to compound even more um and i think it's very very powerful it it actually makes people, I don't want to say it makes people not want to claim because people are still going to claim, right? People are still going to lock in profits, um, but there's more of an incentive to compound. Not that there wasn't before, because so obviously they're getting 2%, but there's more of an incentive to compound even more, not just claim, 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 claim. Because um, again, people who just claim every single day, um, it's not really going to be, it's not really the behavior that um is going to make this thing run long term if everybody's just claiming every single day you know platform wide it's not going to be or community wide rather it's not going to be the behavior that's going to make this thing run long term not that claiming is a bad thing obviously if you need to claim you know by all means go do what you need to do i never you know say anything bad about people that need to claim if people got to pay bills or anything like that hey you know they got to do what they got to do but obviously the behavior that they want to incentivize, the behavior that they want to reward, rather, probably that's probably the better term, is they want people to compound. And I think this, this new mechanism that was added to the contract today, where people who, or not not people, when you claim the amount of tokens that you're claiming gets deducted from your staked amount, again, it, it just incentivizes people even more to just compound um, more than claim, right? And I think that's that's a good behavior to have. As long as you're compounding more than you're claiming, and that's and that's incentivized and rewarded community wide, that's going to help this this uh, this platform run longer, sustainability wise. I think it's a it's a you know it's bullish, right? So, um, and but and you know, don't get me wrong, you know, I'm someone that can claim, claim, claim. I can claim hundreds of dollars every single day. If there's no limit, I can do that nonstop, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not interested in doing that. I want this thing to run long term so that people can eat, so that, you know, we can earn from it, so other people can earn from it. And so, you know, I think it's a, I think it's a, you know, powerful. I think it's a good implementation. And um, I think that new mechanism is going to, is going to be, um, you know, be good for the, for the platform long term. Doesn't mean that, the, that's not going to, don't get me wrong. It doesn't mean that that news is going to make the token, you know, you know moon so again people are still gonna sell they're still gonna have their you know 
five and two strategy or six and one strategy where they compound five days a week or compound six days a week and then claim on the weekend or claim on Sunday. I think they're still going to stick to that. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but again, I think that, you know, the, uh, the news that they came out with today during that live stream is, you know, pretty powerful. So yeah. Um, awesome news, awesome news all around. So yeah, this one here, 2% daily. If you're compounding 1%, if you're claiming, um, again, nothing wrong with claiming or collecting. I never, like I, you know, even back with, uh, with drip, you know, I, I used to always tell people, look, if you've got a claim, if you've got to sell, you know, people used to always, you know, get mad at people when they sold. Right. And I was always someone that said, Hey, people got to sell, they got to sell. Right. That's just, that's the nature of these platforms. People got to eat, people got to pay bills. Um, so again, there's nothing wrong with you selling. If you got to sell, if you got to collect, go we'll get your 1%. But again, there, there is reasons to compound. There's, there's incentives for you to compound. So as long as you're compounding more than you're selling, again, that's a good behavior to, to have and good on them for rewarding that type of behavior. So that's impressive. Um, you know, again, I don't, I'm not really too familiar with this dev, um, but hearing a little bit about, you know, how he speaks and, you know, him making the choice to do this, you know, but, you know, that's nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed. Um, so min stake share. If you want to get involved, you need some BNB. Obviously, you need some BNB not just to get tokens, but you need to cover the gas fees. So make sure you have enough to cover the gas fees. And um, yeah, get you some tokens, stake it in the platform, and get your one or two percent a day. Again, we are at the early, early stages. It's not even been two weeks. It's been, uh, what is it, 11 or 12 days that this thing has been out. Token right now is taking a little bit of a dip, uh, which is normal. We're approaching the weekend, so people are already starting to claim a little bit. I think there was a whale that sold this position today. I'm not even sure. I don't even care, to be honest. I mean, that's just that's that's the way these things are. A token is going to go up. It's going to go down. We talked about it a little bit this morning in our video where, you know, even drip went for weeks and months going sideways, you know, before it really took off. And who knows if this takes off or not? The cool, the, you know, the cool thing about it is, you know, even if it doesn't take off, if it stays kind of where it's at and it just kind of floats at the price it, it is where it's at right now, and we're getting two percent a day, we're gonna we're gonna do good. Okay, we don't need the token to take off. Now, if it takes off, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna be super happy about that. But we don't need it to take off as long as we're getting two percent a day. And we have a, a strategy that makes this thing run long term. We're going to do really well, right? We don't need this to be the next drip for us to do really well. Um, <laughs> so we don't need to keep comparing it, right? Again, if you compare it all the time. Um, you know, you're really setting a super high bar. There's nothing wrong with setting a high bar, right? I get it, but um, you know, let this thing be, you know, what it's going to be. It can be powerful on its own, right? Um, so anyway, enough of that. I got a bunch of stuff to do. I'm catching a flight tomorrow, 11-hour um, flight, 11 or 12-hour flight or something like that. I'm going to be in Hawaii tomorrow, so I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong. So uh, it might be a couple of days before I check back on Men's Take Share. Uh, hopefully, things are going well. I will catch you guys on the next update video. Follow me on Telegram. Subscribe to the channel. As always, guys, do your own research. Do your own due diligence. Risk capital only. But this one... Yeah, it looks like it's uh, bringing dApps back, making dApps great again. All right, guys, check out the link below. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.